Hey guys, um, I'm back for another video and it's with this one, this human being again. Me again. If you guys aren't sick of our faces, then this one's for you. Um, we were just wanting to like sit down and have a little chat or a little rant, I guess, mm. about certain things going on in society right now, which we're not like fully supportive of. Yeah. Um, we have some um, yeah. questions about it. We have both suffered from eating disorders or eating struggles, I guess. Um, and there's a new petition out that Kirsty actually made me aware of. I'd heard it on the radio and stuff, but I didn't really take it in. Mm. And it's basically that the government <laughs> are trying to make children only eat calories that are 100... No, snacks, snacks that are 100 calories. And you can't, can't have more than two a day. Yeah, so you're only allowed a 200 calorie snack. A day. I'm reading it, I'm not just being antisocial. Um, um, and like, we'll put it out there, like a little disclaimer. We both understand the concept behind yeah. this, right? We understand that Britain, especially as a country, is a very unhealthy <laughs> place. And that the government are trying to do something about that and they're trying to make kids healthier. But they're going about it the wrong way. Cal you know, I'm already getting annoyed. But calories don't have anything to do with health. Mm. And like, I didn't even read all this, but it says like there are examples of it. Like you can have um, one crumpet, one scotch pancake, mm. uh, chopped vegetables and lower fat hummus, fresh or tinned fruit salad. That it's, it's fine. For a child. Like a this child. is alright, but what if the kid eats it and then they're still hungry? You're going to be like, no, you can't have any more calories. Like that's not teaching a child how to eat and like fuel their body properly. Mm. They're Especially, growing. Yeah, exactly. They're growing. Like, <gasps> I remember as a kid, my mum was always trying to get more and more food down me. Mm. Not that, I mean, obviously healthy food. Um, <laughs> because the this. unhealthy I was eating plenty of. But um, th it was like, there was no restriction to, mm -hmm. if I was hungry, I would eat. This is like giving this impression that once you've had that amount of calories, you must, you must be eating. Full. It's you just, must be full. Like, it doesn't make any <clears> sense. <throat> And something else that Kirsty and I were talking about is that most of these snacks are going to be made from like chemicals. Processed yeah, things. they're going to be like fake things, not the real. Like if you wanted a yogurt, the yogurt's a healthy thing, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're like going by this sort of thing, you shouldn't have a whole yogurt. You should have a low fat yogurt and yeah. not finish it. It's like but like low fat yogurts are full of sugar. Exactly. Like the kids should be learning about like health and like balance and just mm, being like healthy around food yeah and also how they view food this is just gonna make them growing up counting numbers. calories it's which so is the annoying. whole problem in like so in, that is where most eating disorders stem literally from. like one of my friends was like one of their things that started off an eating disorder was counting calories and mm. we were both like oh okay it's all right it's just like making sure that you're like being healthy and it's like, no, it's actually led to something that's, like, really unhealthy and now she has to eat, like, more calories. And the thing it is, It just like, gets it into your head and it's The thing that people right. don't understand as well is, like, I, I, still, I still struggle with this, this concept of, like, so many diets tell you that you need to eat less calories than, like, a set amount that you're, like, given, mm -hmm. right? For a female, it's, like, 1,500 or something. Um, oh, and for men, it it's, like, 2,000. Food. I've never been sure what it is. I think it, it does depend it varies, on body weight. Yeah, but um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll lose weight if you're eating unhealthy stuff for like that amount of calories. You'll probably be eating this amount of food, right? And you'll still be hungry, and you'll still keep, like keep eating, and that is when you put on weight. If you're eating that same amount of calories, but you're eating healthy stuff, and you're going to be eating like this amount, like a mountain mm. of food, like it, it's just. I don't know. It's what you're eating, yeah. not how many calories. And that's not what this, like, It's thing not is teaching. teaching it. It it's says 2,500 for a man and 2,000 for a woman. Really? Yeah. I mean, it does depend on, I'm like, gonna carry it on does say, like, this. looking at height and how much you already weigh. Build and stuff. But even then, like, it shouldn't re it doesn't matter. Like, you know your body best. Obviously, kids don't, mm. really. Which is also why it's important to teach them, eat, like, something healthy stop when you're full but if you're still hungry tell your parent and then they can be like okay you can have like another banana or whatever yeah. i don't know not like no 
you've had your 100 calorie snack you've had your scotch pancake you've got to stop eating now like i just don't i don't to be fair oh. this isn't like a new thing because if you think about it in supermarkets there's so many snacks that are like addressed to kids or like they have like kids packaging and then yeah for, like i remember like petty for loot, right i love those them were so great much. and i'm pretty oh, certain they so were nice I don't know. I don't know how many calories. That's the point. We didn't it's know how many matter. calories exactly. they were. But they, like, yogurt and, like, fruit will fill you up so much quicker for so much longer. Mm. Whereas, like, if you just have some, like, low-fat hummus. <laughs> Scotch pancake. Just I'm sorry, one, it's just making you laugh. One, like, crumpet. Or, I don't know. For some kids, it might be fine. But it just, it that should be dependent on the kid and what they're eating, not on the calories. That same government will be like, oh, it's terrible. There's so many eating disorders. We haven't got funding. About it. And it's like, well, it wouldn't be these eating disorders or wouldn't be as many if we were thinking about food differently. Yeah. And teaching people that calories don't equal health. I mean, though, this is like, that's exactly the point that I tried to make in one of my blogs. The fact that we don't get taught about mental illnesses in school, mm. but they're trying to teach us how to calorie help. It's like, um, yeah. They need to focus on the things that are really gonna affect us like long term and that's like not knowing the right way to go about things especially mental health wise mm -hmm. it's just like we don't even talk i don't know the last time in eating disorder was even mentioned in school yeah i in anything learn about it we were doing it recently in psychology and the amount that's of people England, exactly and the amount of people that didn't realize that anorexia was like a mental illness i was mm -hmm. like it's not just where you don't eat, like... It's something that goes on in your head, and then it can sometimes... It can result in physical things mm. for people. The same as bulimia <sighs> and, like, body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia isn't just where you think you're fat. Like, it's not that simple. It's not, like... Uh, it's just something that also goes, like, quite unnoticed in society. I know that a lot of people aren't very, like, capable of taking on compliments, but... Sometimes people don't realise that when someone, like, tells you that you look slim, which is also something that I don't like when people compliment you on, per se. Mm. But um, when they say that and someone says, oh, no, 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 I don't, it's not necessarily because they're fishing. I know, because I struggle with this, I, in my head and how I feel about my body is very different to how it actually looks. And that is just something that obviously just doesn't translate from my head to my body yeah like i know that if i look at a photo of myself it's very different to how i actually see myself in my head i've had it's that very before. hard to explain I yeah i mean i don't think i'm not going to claim like i've experienced it fully but i remember like back in the summer like i saw a photo of myself and i was like oh i look very different to like what i thought mm. but because i've never really been educated about it i didn't really realize what was going on yeah and that's the thing, we just don't even get to talk about all of these yeah. mental health things that lead to a lot of bad eating habits. Yeah, it's so dangerous. Because, like, it literally carries with you for the rest of your life. Mm. There's um, one YouTuber called Grace Victory. I love her. Have you seen her videos? No. I would recommend them. Um, she was saying that she's been in therapy for an eating disorder, and she's quite open about it. And she said that, that um, she was genuinely shocked when her therapist told her that she doesn't count calories she thought that people had to could only live by counting calories she genuinely thought that that was how everyone went about eating because and that's not something we even get told it's crazy it's just like how like you can grow up thinking that that is what everyone does and and that's exactly how people are going to yeah, be growing up people are literally going to be growing up and everyone's going to be counting calories if these kinds of petitions like we get they're trying to be healthy they're not trying to do something evil. No. But they just don't get the effect that it can have on people. And, and I just don't understand do how government can't even, like, don't even consider this sort of stuff. It's like, no. oh, I, I just don't understand. Like, it, there's so many other ways they could go about this. Like, commercialising eating better. I just don't. Yeah. I don't, but I guess maybe sometimes, maybe those messages just go unheard. Because uh, it does get talked about, talked. It does get talked about a lot in media that we are a very unhealthy nation. Yeah. And that people need to eat healthy, but it doesn't really like register. It doesn't really change anything. Yeah, it's so it's weird how we're still doing it like this. Like there are so many programs. Like my dad will be watching something, and the amount of times I'll hear, "Oh, 
Dave lost fifteen pounds. Mm. Shelley lost this much. I'm like, but are they actually feeling healthier? Are they actually still happy? Are they like actually doing things that are healthy? Like there was one thing I can't remember what it was. I think someone had to eat like a tin of tuna for dinner. That's like caveman food. That's like getting a fish out of a lake and just eating it. Like you want a proper meal. Yeah. <laughs> who who just... wants just a tin of tuna for dinner? And it was so that she could lose this amount of weight. She's not gonna go on eating a tin of tuna for dinner for the rest of her life. No. It's not gonna stay that it's not way. sustainable. And it's like, are they actually feeling happy? There's also something like that obviously body pandy body body pandy. Body pandy. Body positive panda that the girl you showed me. She obviously said that people um like not even like meant to be a certain size but there's like a certain size for most of us that most of us don't even realize is our like comfortable state mm. and like there's nothing wrong with it no. it's like that's where our bodies should be and we keep trying to fight it and you keep thinking that you're putting on weight or you're like losing weight but it's just like that is your body's natural way yeah. of looking um and like size this is another thing size doesn't equal health Mm-hmm. Like that's why I was worried. I hate it when people are like, "Oh, you look so good. You've lost so much weight." It's like, so did she not look good, or he not look good mm-hmm. before they lost the weight? Like you don't know what's actually going on. They could be ill. They could have an eating disorder. They could be actually like unhealthy. Whereas before they were healthy. It's so difficult. Like I remember me and my mom when I was going through all the like weird stuff. We were like doing it together, kind of. What do you mean? So like. We'd be like, we went to Zumba together Mm. and we'd be like doing that kind of stuff together. And like, we kind of egged each other on. Yeah. But then she has never been like, oh, we're going to do that again or anything. I think she was just kind of like, eh, I don't know. (laughs) It's done now. (laughs) Um, But me and my dad go into boxing. I'm like determined because I'm like, I want to do a sport that doesn't have to be about losing weight. It mm-hmm. doesn't have to be that's about what I, you look that's like. That's why I listed it in the first place. I haven't gone because it's too expensive. Mm. It's, oh, but like, I'm just, I'm a little bit, like, I went to that first session, and it was good, but I was a little bit frustrated because I think in my head I was worrying too much. I was like, mm. I don't want this to be about losing weight. I don't want it to be about losing weight. But it doesn't have to be. Like, it doesn't have to be about losing weight. I mean, I, I still, we it's still have time. We don't have, have a lot of time right now. Mm. But I mean... Do you remember a couple of months ago I suggested that us girls like go to like dance fitness lessons? Because I still really want to do that because it's more about just like having fun. Yeah, I'd love but to. We do just that. haven't really got round to I it. I don't have the money anyway at the yeah, moment. Neither do but... I. Um, it looks so red. Yeah, so do I. I'm I don't sorry, know why, but it's just <laughs> so distracting. I feel like it's the lighting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But the whole like thing about role models and stuff kind of just thinks back to like the petition and the fact that yeah. parents are advocating this. And Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone can do what they want, it's their kids, but this is just sort of our opinion on what that will actually do to your child in the future. Yeah, especially when they're young, like, oh my god, I didn't... did you ever worry about food when you were little? No. No. Not really until, I mean, to be honest, I have, every summer it's gone a bit dodgy, since I was probably about 12. I think it is because of all the pressure about like, oh... Slim get like body. a bikini body it's like no mm. that doesn't exist i know like bikini bodies are not a, a bikini thing. body is my body in a bikini literally it's just oh god every time i see a magazine with that kind of stuff on now i'm like i, want to I literally it. got annoyed yesterday i was at the gym and i saw a poster saying new year new you and i was just like why does that have to mean <laughs> slim or literally. or muscly or I mean, fitness is good. Don't get me wrong. Being, Being fitter, fit, that's different. That's, that's good. so different. But that's not the it, like that's not the portrayal of it in most areas of our lives. It's no. generally like, be fit, be slim. Yeah, like slim equals fit. It yeah. doesn't. It like, really doesn't. Even at the boxing place, there was like a poster, and it was like this woman, and it like made me happy that it was a woman because I was the only girl in there. <laughs> It was all men, and I was just like, <laughs> okay. Um, but it was a woman, but she had like a six pack and stuff, and I was like. Yeah, you know she's going to suddenly That's get six not, pack. No. Like, you should show her being strong, but it shouldn't mm. matter what her body looks like. Yeah, I mean, like, I have also... I have such a range of friends, and I have such slim friends who are weaklings. And then yeah. people who are bigger or, like, I don't know. I don't even know, like... I don't know, like, the right word. I know, I don't want to offend, but... Just different sizes. Like, like, yeah. And are stronger and fitter and can run farther and they can do more and then there's like yeah. slim people who can't walk up the stairs but are getting out of breath and it's, like, it's like... not about your size it's about how fit you are 
literally and we, i feel like a lot of people have a friend who is like tiny mm. and eats everything and the thing is it's not the amount it's like what they're eating and they don't do exercise mm. my sister is well it's i mean like i don't know whether my sister does well. secret exercises that she doesn't tell us about because she also has had stuff go on with her uh-huh. in that sense but my sister is quite a slim person she's a lot slimmer than i am and always has been slimmer than i am and you have very different body types we, as well. we do yeah uh she is quite a sort of like i don't know more like i feel like she has a sporty body even though she mm-hmm. doesn't do sport which is so <laughs> annoying so she has a six pack <laughs> she has such a nice like such a nice figure and mm. but then so do you mm. see see <laughs> see i'm just like it's hard telling to not. the truth it's hard, yeah. like it is really, really hard. It's so difficult. And I like, am starting to love it more. Because yeah. I feel like as I'm getting older and becoming more of a woman... Um, <laughs> uh, still feel like I'm 12. <laughs> yeah, I am still 12. But I feel like when I was younger, my mum used to always tell me I have an hourglass figure and I can never really see it because uh-huh. I just don't... I didn't feel like it was really I, fully I it. there. Now now it's more like it's starting to like do the thing I like. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I, I like this. Yeah. I feel feminine. I feel like... I feel like a woman. <laughs> yeah, I think like looking at your like figure as well, and instead of seeing things that, like you you immediately think of as like negative, like see them as like a good thing. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I've done, and honestly, it's like so nice because you just think I don't have to like we're going on holiday this summer, and I'm not like oh my god I'm gonna have to go to the gym. I'm gonna have to like do all this shit I'm like no I'm not gonna do any of that I'm still gonna go on holiday yeah and, and it's gonna be more fun because oh, the yeah. thing is right this is what I don't understand about that because I have thought about it I have mm. had those thoughts I have had oh god I'm gonna be in a bikini we're gonna probably be around a lot of people who I fancy um and I want to look good but uh, uh, the kind of thing is we're gonna be drinking right we're gonna be 18 we're gonna be eating junk food there's <laughs> no point in... it's gonna like you're suddenly gonna it's lose gonna go. that you're gonna lose that in like the first two days yeah i just think it's so much more like it will last longer like it will literally last your whole life to work on loving yourself as you look naturally hell yeah than trying to lose weight and then be like oh yeah i'll be happy then because like we've we've both done that mm-hmm. like and it still gets into my head sometimes. I, sure I it does always yours. have that. I, I thought about it so many times that I will look back on pictures now and I'm like, oh, I'm so much slimmer. But I felt the exact same as I do now. And that's the problem is regardless, I've been on every spectrum of the body I size. See what you mean. I have been mm-hmm. very slim, too slim, and I have been overweight. None of that time. Was I happy? Yeah, your mental None health time. still like the whole time. I was like, I need to lose floor. weight. I need to lose weight. I need to use more Literally, weight. Literally, it's never enough. Like no. I said to myself when I was like beginning of two thousand seventeen, like yeah, I'm losing weight. I was like, right, okay, well, when I get to that way, I was like, right, that's where I stop mm-hmm. because I think that'll be fine. Got to it, and then I lost still more, and I was like, mm, I'm still not happy. Mm-hmm. Like it just doesn't change, and everyone thinks that it does, and everything's telling it us that it will make you happier. Every time I see an advert like that now, I'm like, I'm it's calling false. bullshit on yeah, that. It's bull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's I basically mean, don't count calories. Cause... Yeah, and speaking of which, pass me a cookie, please. <gasps> I want a cookie. We bought well. cookies and we're going to enjoy them. I saw them like halfway through the video and I was like, this is probably, as Monica said before the video, 100 calories. Just one. Do we care? No. No, this is probably our fourth cookie. <laughs> Who cares? That's not even a, that's not They're even a lie. They're so good. Same I'm happy. My belly's happy. Yes, yeah. I'm not sponsored by Sainsbury's. <laughs> They're nice. I mean, they probably wouldn't sponsor it after we just kind of like bashed the whole system. Uh, oh, well. Um, so kind of to sum up, we're not a huge fan of the way government are trying to help. We get they're trying to help. Um, more awareness, I think, should be around in schools about Definitely. mental health. And... Being slim doesn't mean you're gonna be happy. No, and you just don't. You just don't need to. You just don't, you don't need to. Perfect the way you are. Yeah. So I will live. Live. I will live. I will live. <laughs> live happily with a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave the link below to the petition to stop this uh, calorie 
movement thing yeah if you're interested in what we're interested in and if you feel the same as we do then there's currently 5,000 signatures 5,000 people agree with us so Join maybe you should you too like it's up to you um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed our little yeah. rant time i mean there might be a sequel to this same topic because as you can see <laughs> we have a lot to say on this got a lot of them um... this is probably already a long video but i don't care yeah. so if you did like this video then please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe for every videos every videos a weekly video every friday um yeah yeah bye guys bye